So let's talk a little bit about mobile and start it from your perspective. Um, we're at that interesting point of mobile video. And um, where do you see it as a, a good tool in your business? The way that we look at mobile video, and, and actually most recently, and it's just been a complete shift for us on the media team and Taco Bell, is, you know, could mobile video be a replacement for TV, for example? You know, last summer was, you know, a watershed moment for us where we just saw the TV ratings decline. And when we look at the, you know, putt levels year over year, month over month, they just continue to climb. And they're not picking back up. So, you know, what we're going to do this summer is just double down on online video, um, and especially in mobile video. So we're, we're not sure what it's going to tell us and what right. it's going to do. Um, we're just kind of going to do it, and we're going to spend a lot in online mobile video. Um, and, you know, we're hoping it becomes, um, you know, in a way, it's, you know, we're, we're, we're always testing products before we won't launch nationally. In a way, we're kind of now testing, you know, media and, and, and different media channels and tactics and, and see if that can drive sales as well, just as we know when we flip the switch on TV, that drives sales for us. You know, to me, I always feel like the promise of digital is shortening the distance between passion and purchase. That's the promise, right? That should be the solution to our marketing challenges. And when you create a, a great piece of content, which are triggers for millennials, and now, as we're looking at the next generation of our consumers, Generation Z, um, even more digitally savvy, um, or comparable to, uh, and you invest in a, a, you know, a variety of different pieces of content. How do you follow through? What is your process to show the, the good ROI on that video that it got someone to come in, drive through, whatever, and buy the product? So a couple things. From a creative standpoint, the way that we're trying to follow through when it comes to digital or mobile, you know, so we bring our creative partners along and letting them know how much we're investing in mobile and, you know, and, and if, if we're using a YouTube or Facebook and we can add up, um, it can't just be the TV spot, right? right? It's, um, you know, here are all these different segments and audiences that we can go after. You know, instead of just putting the 15 and the 30, um, how do we make this more of an experience-driven campaign um, with, with video? What are you excited about when you look in the mobile space? Wait, and, and anything you find that you is is uh, from a performance factor, from a creative factor that you see in the mobile landscape that you know is, is hitting some of the criteria that, that uh, gets you excited, makes it a priority for you to look at more. Yeah, you know, um, it. One thing that I'm excited about, like I geek over, but also keeps me up at night, is just leveraging our first-party data. So we launched our mobile ordering app in October, mm -hmm. and our CI team is finally going into all the data. So it's mobile ordering, it's um, e-gifting, it's payment. We're going to launch um, gamification this summer as well. We're oh, e-gifting, I never thought about that. So my son gets an A and then all of a sudden my yeah, son gets a Yeah, absolutely. Yep. That's great. Um, we're launching gamification and we already launched offers. Yeah. So um, we're starting to get all this data about our customers that we didn't really have before. New data. Yeah. So now we know David loves AIM Crunch Ups and he typically buys that on Saturdays when he goes to his local Taco Bell in Long Beach. Um, so what can that unique offer be for him? But the, the, so what's exciting for me is now how do we take that data and how do right. we leverage that from a media standpoint? So, um, you know, one example that we think about, you know, we have the Facebook SDK implemented in our app as well. So we know of those who we've um, driven apps through, you know, our Facebook buys, who's using it and who are those customers? So how do we then tailor, um, you know, our, 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 our Facebook and social content for those audiences and, and, and drive usage. So, you know, and then do we take that data and partner with the Nexium and go outside of that world as well? So, it's all new for us. Um, we we just went through that data last week, and you know, so that's what I'm kind of geeking over. But so here you got a situation where you guys implemented mobile ordering to help to increase sales, but the treasure trove of big data that you're getting from that will have a big impact on sales. Is that a fair, did I make the assumption correct? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think knowing more about our customers um, could be more powerful than scale.